Banana bread is one of these cakes that I could eat for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Especially if it's high in protein like this one. So let's make banana bread, shall we? The first thing to prepare is a big bowl where I will start adding the dry ingredients. I will start with adding 40 grams of all-purpose flour and also 20 grams of oat flour to add a bit of this nutty flavor. Oat flour can be made super easy by yourself if you have a mixer. Just add oats into the mixer and blend it for around 30 seconds on high. You will need to blend a bit more as 20 grams because otherwise the mixer won't be able to blend them properly. So what I do is I blend 40 grams and 20 goes into my banana bread and 20 goes into the fridge and into my oatmeal the next morning. Next is a scoop of 30 gram of Vey Vanilla or if you have chocolate protein powder. I will also add in 20 gram of unsweetened cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. Combine all the ingredients until it becomes a brown greyish color. Now if you want to use casein powder you can do that as well. I did both versions and will show you the difference and tell you which one I prefer after they are baked and I get to try them. So let's move on with the wet ingredients. I will peel a ripe banana. Ripe bananas will add a lot of moisture and sweetness to the banana bread. If you don't have a super ripe banana you can also add a bit of sweetener like stevia 25 grams should be enough now i will add half an orange and squeeze the juices into the bowl with the banana orange juice actually pairs amazing with chocolate and will add a nice layer of flavor now take a fork and mash the banana until it becomes almost a paste like this around 30 seconds the mixture goes into the bowl and then I will add in 100 gram of egg whites. I won't add the yolks because I like it more fluffy. However, you can add two whole eggs if you want or one whole egg and 50 gram of egg white. Just keep in mind that every yolk will add around 60 calories. Also, I will add in 100 gram of non-fat Greek yogurt to add some tang and also additional protein. You can also use skewer, they have the same macros. Okay, that's it for the ingredients. Now mix this for 30 seconds until it turns into a creamy consistency, almost like yogurt. I will transfer this now into an aluminium baking sheet. The size is 20 times 14 centimeters. And then this now gets into a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius or 320F for 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your baking sheet. And this is the result. The inner temperature should reach around 91 to 95C or 200F. Let this cool down now for 30 minutes and it's ready. So let's cut one slice and check it out from the inside. Super fluffy and nice looking interior and by the way the small bubbles that you can see is the result of the baking powder and baking soda. The entire cake comes in with 617 calories, 96 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fat and 56 grams of protein. But now let's check out the casein cake. I did the exact same ingredients but added casein instead of whey. And as you can see the casein doesn't rise properly and remains pretty dense it looks almost like a protein bar. So if you want a fluffier interior, you have to use whey. But now let's do the taste test. First the whey, and honestly I like it a lot. It is sweet, still juicy because of the banana, and has a slight touch of orange, very nice. Let's check out the casein. Taste wise it's pretty much the same in my opinion. Casein tends to make baking dishes juicier because it retains more moisture, that's why it's so dense, but because I added the banana, it's not really mandatory to add casein, so I personally stick to the fluffier whey version, but I would say try them both and tell me what you think. Click on this video to check how you can make a high protein apple bread and see you there.